Hello everybody and welcome to a Southwest Florida TechNet YouTube channel video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Ratty RF750 shortwave radios. Apparently there's multiple in this box. This costs about $45 on Amazon and there's been a couple other reviews done about this, but I've, you know, I've wanted one for a little while and I finally got one. So, we're going to see just what it's like and I've been using this for several days now and it's a lot of fun so I'm gonna do a little review of it here I thought that might be nice so first I'll just go over the box real quick here's a box comes in uh, it is rebranded by a couple different companies similar to how Baofeng is rebranded by a couple different companies so Ratty is the one I got but there's a couple other Chinese sounding names that are the same radio just with a different brand and model number uh, here's your features uh, FM medium wave, short wave, and also weather band. doesn't say that on there. Well, here it does. Uh, memory card support, and you can store stations in a scan list. In the box, you get the little manual, which is actually pretty good, and just the little pockets where the stuff is, is contained. So with the box out of the way, let's go over the accessories here. Comes with this nice little bag, and it also came with a alligator clip-on random wire antenna. I haven't used it yet, but it is it just clips on to the telescopic antenna on the on the radio like that. So, the bag is pretty cool. It's got enough room to hold the antenna and the radio. And it also just came with a USB-C charging cable. Now, the radio charges using USB-C. And that's really nice. I really like that feature. But I was unable to get it to charge using two different phone uh, USB-C chargers that I had. One of them was plugged into my computer, and it wouldn't charge for some reason. The other one was plugged into a, a high-power, uh, fast-charging cube, and it also would not charge off of that for some reason. So I got the stock you know, cable that it came with and just plugged it into a little cube like that and it actually charged so I don't know what is up with that maybe your experience will be different than mine but I just had a bit of trouble getting it to charge without the stock you know the cable that it came with so with that out of the way let's get down to business here's the actual radio I think hopefully the lighting is good enough uh, as you can see you have a sort of analog style dial this was the main thing that I really liked about this radio I love little gadgets like this and the fact that this one has an analog you know, it gives you like it makes you feel like you're using a, an old radio. There is another version of this which has a digital readout on the screen, but I really wanted the knob to control everything. That being said, the actual receiver is not analog. On the side, we have a little knob here to select radio mode, Bluetooth mode, or memory card mode. I did put a memory card in here so we can play some music. I'm gonna keep it in radio mode for now. Not much else except for the battery, which is removable. You can take it out and replace it, which is nice. So let's power it on. The little antenna sticks out about, I don't know what that is, about a foot. And the way you power it on is with this power button. This is your volume control here. So let's power it on, hold down the button. Radio. Chance of rain 30% Friday night and Saturday. So there you go, you can hear I have it on weather band mode right now. And the, a really cool thing about this radio is the speaker. So the price point, the size, and just the general aspect of this radio, the fact that it's a you know, in Chinese made type product, the speaker in it, you would expect it to be really tinny and, and bad, but it actually is really impressive. 47, making the relative humidity 79%. I know that a uh, staticky weather band is not the best demonstration, but um, let's switch here to a different mode. So the way you switch between weather band, FM, shortwave is you push the band button on top. So now we're in FM mode. So there is your FM dial, and each row here represents a different band. So on the very left we have the FM band and you can see what frequency you're tuned to here. So if we push band again we get into medium wave mode. Uh, 
not many strong medium wave bands here in the area and press band again and you get into short wave mode which is the mode I use the most so in here you can hear if I tune it's obviously not using an analog receiver it's stepping so I actually have set up on here if I switch to band 2 oh hang on you gotta push set to switch between the different shortwave bands when you're switching between weather band FM medium wave and shortwave you push the band button when you're switching between the different shortwave bands you push the set button so somewhere around here I have set up a WWV simulated transmission into a dummy load so let me try and find that. At the tone, three hours, 37 minutes, coordinated universal time. So there you have the shortwave listening. Let's try and find another station on here somewhere. Try and go to a different band here. <laughs> Alright, well I'm not able to find very much else on here. Anyway, so there's the radio side of things. You can also push the mode button here. It says mod. But if you push it, it switches between battery percentage display mode. I have a full battery. This is the view meter mode. Doesn't seem to react very nicely to my WWV simulation. And the third option is no lights at all. At the dome, three hours, 39 minutes, coordinated universal time. So there's a demonstration of the of the radio side of things. Let's try out the SD card side here. So we're gonna switch this little knob over to M play. Card mode. And you switch to the next song by pushing the forward and back button. That's the only way you can do it, is just skip to the next song. I don't know what order they're stored in, but it is done on a folder basis. So if you have 10 folders with different types of music in them, it'll go through one folder at a time. There you go, there's a sample of the music. It sounds amazing for the size of the speaker and the price and everything. I can't state that enough. The speaker in this thing is mind-blowing. So overall, I have to give this radio a very positive rating. The only thing that I wish it had is single sideband, but I really I understand that for the price of this, which is about 45, $35 to $45, getting sideband in something like this is a pretty tall order. But, I mean... Really, for AM shortwave listening, for WWV and whatever Radio. else you want to listen to, you can't really get much better. It's got a great signal. So overall, I am really impressed with my Ratty RF750, and I highly recommend if you want some little cool gadget radio, it's a great gift for a ham or if you just want it to play with. I don't have another shortwave receiver, so I'm really glad to finally have something that I can use to test my equipment with and whatnot. So overall, highly recommend. It's a lot of fun to play with, and I think that if you're into radios and things like that, this is a pretty cool toy. So with that, I will go ahead and end the video. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a comment. Tell me what you thought. We will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.